enough with the comedy. 75% of Americans have substandard math skills. And the other half should do some brush up too. <laughs> <laughs> start with a couple of word problems. <laughs> if the distance of a person from a tower is 100 meters, and the angle subtended by the top of the tower is 30... Well. Alright, try this one. You got a bar in downtown Charleston, you've already picked up your hoe for the night. <laughs> It's midnight and your blood alcohol level is 0.14. If the legal limit is 0.08 and the alcohol in your blood dissipates at a rate of 15% per hour, how long will the bitch have to blow you in the bathroom before you can safely drive her back to Goose Creek? You knew it was a trick question. Because at that rate of dissipation, you'd still be over the limit well past closing time, and, and she'd have to finish blowing you in the street. <laughs> math skills to help underscore one of the most critical issues facing our nation today. There's a dangerous radical group out there. They're meaning to do us harm. They reject our way of life. Some people call it a crime problem. Most call it terrorism. Whatever you call it, we're not doing nearly enough to stop them. A lot of people are, are afraid to even identify them as who they really are. But I'm not talking about, of course, the Amish. <laughs> A few months ago, Lancaster County, Pennsylvania police arrested 22-year-old Elmer Stoltzfus Fisher and charged him with DUI after they found him asleep at the reins of his horse and buggy. <laughs> His horse was straddling the center line of the highway, pulling the buggy behind at a walking pace. <laughs> Elmer woke up and blew .18. This is just the tip of the silo. In 1993, Elmer was the first convicted Amish murderer. In 1998, two young Amish men were caught dealing cocaine. And just last month, Andy Schwarzentruber was jailed for contempt of court after he failed to fix his outhouses well enough to meet Bar Township sewage regulations. It gets worse. <laughs> Let's do the math. There are 17,000 horses in Lancaster County, each producing about six gallons of waste a day. If these horses pull buggies an average of two hours a day, that's 3.1 million gallons of, they call it road apples, plopped onto Lancaster County highways every year. This raises several troubling questions. <laughs> Did you know they make horse diapers now? How big a changing table would you need for that? How do you potty train horses when they can't hold up one or two fingers? If your middle name were Stoltzfus, wouldn't you drink heavily? Does point one eight also explain the haircut? If Elmer called an Amish cab, would a checkered horse show up? <laughs> an Amish car, do they party like it's sixteen ninety nine? What's the most popular drink there? Levi Wallbanger? Buttery Ankle? I shun thee on the beach. How many speeches would it typically say that you have to make to generate 3.1 million gallons of horse manure? How much horse manure constitutes an actual buttload? How many senators constitute an actual buttload? Which would you rather run over in your car? Would an Amish horse make a good senator? Could he do any worse? Would he always vote nay? <laughs> Lancaster County's new street cleaning program considered a shovel-ready project. Have local McDonald's added road apple pie to the dollar menu? <laughs> Can the McShit sandwich be far behind? How, if at all, would it differ from a Big Mac? Would an Amish pull close top be redundant? If Elmer if the horse talked back, do it if the horse talk back, would you call that a horse's sass? How could you tell if an Amish thug had his hat on backward? <laughs> what is Amish gang initiation like? Do they tip cows? How much should you tip a cow? Is 10% of it? 20% too much. Would I have gotten better service if I hadn't ordered the prime rib? 
is there anyone here who still thinks this was a math lecture? <laughs> Would a math lecture have been funnier? Can a competent Amish hooker do more than three men a night? 